hello everybody it is your pal your buddy the black knight the ceo in pajamas and as you can see here we've got some money some money going on but of course we can't can't have that no no we can't have whole bunches of money for no reason but really there's just a couple sales going on that i think are absolutely too good to turn down and i'm going to actually probably make myself pretty broke in the process here we're going to probably clip through at least at least three million probably four million now maybe maybe all of it first things first check this out now i have i have pondered do i want to wait and buy this after i've run some more arena wars some more Arena Wars action to try and see if I can randomly unlock the uh, the trade price, which would save me four hundred thousand dollars. But when you consider that you know the odds of this actually happening are so minuscule, and it's that's really only oh I don't know that's that's only about four runs with the uh, with the with the bunker. Boy, I'm looking out my window and there's suddenly a bunch of police cars out front. I think they're having an, an advanced traffic stop is going on. That's completely distracting. But at any rate. Totally not kidding. Totally not kidding there. Um, wow. What was I saying? Oh, yes. The odds of actually getting this trade price unlocked are so unbelievably small. I think it's best just to make sure you get this. I mean, this, this buy it now is less than the trade price. The normal trade price. So... And let's see, might as well put it where it's going to be worked. Not going to make that arena workshop. I think I have at least one more spot in arena workshop. Boom, money gone out the window. Let's take a look at it. It's confirmed it's there. Now you may be wondering why I chose the future shock for this one. I just think that this particular car lends itself very well to the Future Shock look. You know, it's it's the kind of thing you'd see at a SEMA event or something like that. A, good, a nice car show. Could be most excellent and cool in this layout, so we're going to check it out. Plus, I have a specific color scheme that I want. It's one you've seen before. Ooh, look at it. So futury, so shocky. Very nice. So we finally have one of these. We have the, the Dollar General over here and Sprite. See, those two, they're older cars. I just couldn't see them in a Future Shock look real. I mean, yeah, you can see them in it, but I mean, and they do work, but they, they weren't what I wanted. You know, even the Dollar General wasn't really planned, but I think it does work. Let's hop in this puppy. Not a lot of outward vision, but we'll... Oh, we took... I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to get, get it modified, but we can... You can try out the, uh... Ah, are you kidding me? Absolutely kidding you. That's totally what I'm doing. Just kidding. Those will probably be your last shots of, uh, the original paint job here. Let's, uh, let's modify it a little bit. I don't want to spend a lot of money because I've got a little money to spend. She's going to be dangerous, all right. What can I do? Okay, forget that, forget that. Bumpers, front bumpers. Does it really matter with the bumper? I guess if you take the rear bumper, reinforced. I guess a reinforced rear bumper makes sense. That's not a lot of money. Bodywork. Spikes. It has, still has spikes. I mean, that's like advanced spikes. No, we have, I guess you're stuck with some spikes. Now I'm not gonna all that stuff. That's that's the heavy money stuff right here. Armor plating. I don't know that that does much. That might do some things for it with the uh, the side protection. Harder to shoot you out there. Obviously harder to shoot you out there. How much is it? I don't want to go 300 grand just yet. Let's just. Let's just do the repaint and I'll give you a, a general idea of where we're going with this. Livery, none. 
And there's a lot of liveries. And they're all funky, but definitely want to clean it up. Spoiler, we probably need it. Wow, that's just ridiculous. See, that's weird. None and there is one. Okay. That's a... That's would be a rock star logic, I guess. But all the, the wings are really obnoxious. What if I just want something like that? These are all much wider than the car. I guess a sprint car wing will probably do. That's thirty-four thousand. Oh, never mind. No, we're not gonna. Again, I have other things I need to get. Where's the respray? Primary color, chrome. Looking good. Crew, you knew that was coming, didn't you? The, the classic chrome crew mix. Secondary color, metallic. Torino red or formula red? Let's see. I think it's normally do Torino. Oh yeah, sexy shit. We can't modify the wheels, I think. Modify the color of the wheels without a trick kind of thing going on here. Look at that. Can we get the is there accent color? Is that the red? Like we do Torino red? Good. So it matches. But the, yeah, the wheels look like they've got the cool light up effect in them, but the gold is. Maybe hey, we'll try the. Uh, we'll try to glitch them later. We'll do a glitch. <coughs> try the glitch thing. Glitch them out blue. Unless, unless the. Uh, new color? Alright. Tires, tire enhancements. We will spend that. They ain't gonna take out your tires now. Tire design. Wheel type, off road. Man, look at that. They have the accent thing on the wheels and everything. I'll work out something with the wheels later. I don't know what I want to do with them yet. Weapons, primary weapons. You know. I was gonna gonna go with the, the lasers just because it would look like it would be bleeding all of this wonderful red all over the place. But those look pretty cool too. Of course, they're three hundred thousand dollars. We're not doing that yet because again, exit the vehicle. LJT, got a minute? No. All right, I keep saying, well, I'm gonna spend this more money and this this kind of money. We can look at what the other rams are, I guess. We make her badass, yeah! What are we doing then? Now, the reinforced scoop, that looks kind of thing, right? Nice, but it has all these woo. I thought about the Mega Blade. The Mega Blade is something to think about at some point. Does look particularly good with this uh, this layout of paint. Yeah, if I could just change the color of the wheels, this would be perfect as it is. All right, there's more to do here, but while we still have what 3.3 million, we have to change characters. See, now, for the longest time, I had not invested in a lot of businesses here for Rusty Jack. But, after, well, hey, listen, don't, don't get mad at me. Don't be flipping me off. The idea behind this character is that he's, you know, I've got one character that I can dump all the money into all the businesses and all the properties. And just have one that I have a few extra garages for the, the funkier cars that I might not have room for. Uh, on my main account. He's basically, you know, just an extra set of garages and, you know, a way for me to drive other things. 
But with the nightclubs on sale, that's more garage space. And, and it's still a way, you know, potentially to make money when I'm playing this character. Not nearly as fast as I would in my main character, because Rusty doesn't have any businesses. Now, I'm, I'm actually thinking about it. As I get money and I have money to burn, I may actually pick up, you know, the cheapest version of all of the, the biker kind of businesses for him. Because if you don't go MC, you don't get charged for them. And so, therefore, theoretically, this could still be my low-cost alternative. The idea is if I'm playing this character, I'm not getting charged, you know, all the bunker expenses and things like that. It's a, it's a happy kind of thing. Let's get to the garage. We'll make this purchase from the garage. But all of the, the nightclub stuff's 30% off right now. So, 30% off, that's, that's significant. Let's go to... In addition, I'm trying to figure out which one to pick. Look at this. There's a nightclub very close to the arena and eventually when he gets an arena workshop which that will go on sale at some point and then we'll get him that that parking area it's down see i mean one point normally it's a cheap one anyway but i mean seven hundred ninety four thousand. uh obviously you know do we know we want to leave it concrete or give it a little bit of a blue texture to the it's rusty jack right let's forget the 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 style here all together. Nightclub name, that's a tough one. Well, Gefangenis means jail in German. Yes, I did just Google that. Masonette has the, the, the tightest ties to Tony. Even more so than Tony's Funhouse, I think. Let's try Omega, that's not really. I mean, Studio Los Santos is rusty. There's an actual rustiness to it. This is Rusty Jack's place. This would be like Studio 54, I guess. It's a tough call. Is there a price difference? No. I am curious if there's any special dialogue with Masonette when we get it. Ah, I'm leaning towards the rust. I can always change, I don't know, I can always change it, right? If I were actually creating a club, which one would you want to do? Stick a Studio Los Santos with some kind of rough and tumble kind of thing going on? Or would you actually try to, you know, let people know that this was a, a Tony Prince kind of thing? Let's stick with that right now. Storage. We're going to go for all the storage we can get. Simply because it may become useful. It's cheap now. I mean, this is a huge, that's a huge difference between 1.5 million and 2 point with 600 grand in savings. I don't think we need dancers. I don't think we need dry ice. I just don't. Like, we, we, we let the light rig go. We're letting this go absolutely bare bones functionality. We can always add them later on. I mean, there's not that much of a, of a discount on the dancers here. It's only... Yeah, that's less than 100k. Dry ice, same deal. Less than, you know, well, it's about 100k, but it's not a big deal. Nightclub name. Do we want to go with the Studio Les Santos? The Masonette was extremely exclusive and out of the way, and I think that might be, that might fit. Let's do it. That, that is it. Bare bones. A bare bones masonette. Alright, let's set that waypoint.
New contact, Tony. What do you want to take that? What will be the, the appropriate car to cruise down to our new digs? Bad news. Well, not bad news. Annoying news. Yes, annoying news. This idiot has come by. You'll see. It's Vinewood, I guess. There's lots of idiots. Oh, you know what it is? I think, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've done this. We'll get to go through all the cutscenes again. This will be fun. Forgot how much there was in setting this up. We have to go steal the speakers and stuff again. Interesting, that's right, I forgot we're in a public session. Business battle for cargo. I'm a little bit busier. Yeah, I'm not I'm not in the mood for stealing duffel bags. I'm in the mood for clubbing. Clubbing is a thing. How down is this thing? I mean, it's not a bad... I guess it could be in a bad side of the I missed the trip. Excuse me. Look at the map, not look where I'm going. See, that's why you shouldn't use your GPS. Oh, here, it's the turn I always fly off on, so let's slow down. Every time I take this turn, I take it too fast. It flies off here and goes right over. Alright, so this time we're good. Oh, lagging it again. Did you see that lag? Okay, hold on. Hey, I'll say it again. You should call me at the place of uh, Him and he'll say it again. Eventually, eventually. Maybe. Maybe now that I have a way of making money with those businesses without actually having to do them because I'm really not a big fan of the actual work you have to put into it. What place is this? Seriously? This is a club? This really is underground. Wow. Much, much, you know, less fancy than my other one. I think I picked the right motif. This is meant to be a live event, people. We need lights. Where's the light man? Brian, give me a fucking spotlight. All right, let's run through this. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Fame or Shame Live with your host, Laszlo. He does that, and then, shit, ow! And then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. No, no, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good... God-fearing idiots! Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party. And we need them wasted, and we need them dancing! Not taking selfies with some fuckwits! I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. 
Get me a DJ! But, Tony, I, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. Gate, I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. I'm too old. Me too. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right. All right. And Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. <laughs> English Dave? He says a DJ, the booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am gonna fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room, lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying. Whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here, your whole entourage, whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs, Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Masonette Los Santos. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Oh, I expected more. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> That's my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. So how you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Yeah, how's a kite, Dave, and curse and fate. And you? Oh, never better, old son, never better. <laughs> One love. Nose back? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. <laughs> a proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh... Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you gotta get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. <laughs> I expected more of a reference to like his old days. Oh, shall we go through this? Where are we at here? We really, really a bit of. We really do need to kind of figure out. Did we say hello to him? Is he saying anything? Things are going well down there, kid. Hey, yeah, says something. Good to Whoops. see you in here. The layout's exactly like the old office. Oh, here we go. Like, like my other one. I do like the look. I think I probably like it more than the 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 purple one that we had back in the other office. Although it is nice. You know, it's, it's excessive. This is this is more more clean. Let's see. Set up staff or set up equipment. I guess the equipment first. I think I did the equipment first last time. 
okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival, ritual sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above, but they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party, so get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. I just had a thought. Why can't I set this up as... I set up as a... Why am I set up as an MC? I didn't remember picking an MC. And I can't seem to disband it so I can pull in a helicopter. Okay, you know what we might want to do here? Let us switch sessions. Interesting, I'm right back here. Alright, let's see. See you. Uh, Yeah, last thing we need is somebody, some griefer coming around with, you know, a Hydra and blasting the slowest vehicle in the game. There should be a, a backdoor access to this. Might not be set up just yet. I know, it's a lot of work for just some garage space, which is essentially what I'm doing. Look who's on the dance floor! There's no dance floor yet. Laszlo. Okay, we'll do this again here. But now... Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival ritual sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above, but they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party, so get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. Now is the CEO. Ta-da! Check out the festival from the area. There we go. Right next to a bunker. That's that's gonna be. Don't wanna land it on the people here, you know, we can a little bit. That is smooth as I would have hoped, but. You know, you can buy this van. Obviously not for this mission, that doesn't really help, but for you know, over 1.3 million. And of course I've got the music turned off. For, you know, purposes of uh, copyright infringement. Nothing but pleasure. I wonder if I can put this to some other music. Something that won't get copyright struck. Wow! That's nuts! Harley, is that you? Harley Quinn. Okay, well. Jesus! I think that's probably enough of that.
Sarah Common is a lot less resistance here than you would think. Oh, you can't go through that. Okay, where can we get you? The, the guy is completely fainted away here. I don't know why he died up there. He could have ridden on. Well, I've driven over. Please. Isn't that some of the stereo equipment I'm supposed to be getting? I recall this does not do well with bridges. Although the, the wires it can go through magically. Will we even clear this? Will this do this a thing? Let's see. Do we lose the head right here? Yeah, we're gonna watch this. <laughs> Alright, well at least we got that over with it. I'm still trying to figure out what the appeal would be of buying one of these for your own personal use. We could drive around really slowly and crash into bridges and you know have your own parties on the beach. I mean, I imagine it sets up kind of like a uh, portable nightclub where people could just dance next to it. Which, you know, how long would that last in a free mode session? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's something that you might want to have a lot of fun with in real life because there's real life, you know, interactions with people and things like that, you know, it's dancing, you know, has meaning in real life, not really so much in the digital, well, unless, you know, unless dancing is important to you in GTA, comment in the description if you've built real relationships dancing with people in the, in the nightclubs, or if you have a, a real use for this truck, this thing is just making it. I feel like something's gonna get taken off again or something. Yep, a little bit of a little bit of a scuff there. It doesn't have to get there intact. You can't blow it up, but as long as it gets there. First that guy went completely jammed by me there, moved over. I went to go around him, he hopped over. No sympathy. Alright, we're gonna clear this. I don't think we're gonna clear this. Just. Just took out a light bulb. It's getting shorter. Okay, I, I went for that. But still, I'm tempted to take it up the ramp, but if I don't land it and wreck this, I'll have to drive it all the way back. Oh dear. Um. Okay. It's unstuck. It's unstuck. See, look at that. There we go. Luckily for you, it's only the speakers on the side we need. There you go. Well, there's still the way to get through there. certain that that's part of the intent of the design of the level here. You know, it's, oh, this is dragging. Oh, dear. Can you knock off the stickers on the side? I, I don't want to find out right now. Mission passed. Okay, here's the other entrance. 
Okay, we'll start installing these speakers and hope to Moses no one recognizes them from the background of countless snapmatic shots of shirtless douchebags in top hats and goggles. Yeah? Now all we need is some staff and we're open. Log on to the computer when you're ready to pick them up. Okay, I think this is just a drive around mission. Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling. Okay, let's just do this in some logical order. Let's see, there's three of them. Is there anybody else? Out on the map somewhere? No, let's just do it uh, do it clockwise. Or counterclockwise, isn't it? By the clock, but the opposite way. So clock, but yeah, we can't talk about this. We're not, we're not on the main road here. It's not a convenient location, I will say that. It's symbolically interesting. Where's my car? Because it is so close to Maze Bank. This is going to be a center for Rusty Day, no question about it. Looking for someone? Great, it's you. Okay then, good to be on board. Next in line. Oh, sorry, that's the Mr. Call. Dead gummit! I can't believe I'm going to work in a dance club. Or a warehouse underneath a dance club. I don't even like dance clubs. But it sounds a whole lot cooler than a sorting warehouse. Or however else you'd explain this setup. Can we call him back? Can I call up, uh... Wait, tell me, will it get that back again? Dizzy. So I have to remember that when I pick these people up to wait for the phone call. Don't go right to the man. Start the mission over again. Or probably somebody else has it already on the line. Or I might have gotten that phone call in the last mission. I'll have to look at my own video. Yeah, let's see. Hyper aggressive cars again. Not what I wanted to do. It was comical, but not what I wanted to do. If you want pick up, let's go. Hold on, I can't hear you. Go from here. Thanks for the pickup. You're the partner, right? And hey, who's this guy? I'm Johan. Is Marcel on board? He'll handle all security and the whole front of house setup. Used to be I would work the velvet rope, but that's a young man's game. Marcel here has a laser eye for good people and bad. He'll make sure all the right kids are coming in and the wrong ones are staying out. Your security, huh? You, uh, you look it. Yeah. You want any of your friends to get in, I'm the guy to speak to. Oh, sure, thanks. 
You think with this DJ, it's gonna be hard? Solomon? 50% of Los Santos is gonna be lined up outside, and I'm gonna send 90% of those fools away. Cool, cool. I love it when someone other than me feels inadequate and judged. <laughs> Missing the turn here again. Where are we go? Then the middle of where? I can't tell you how psyched I am to be working the bar at your club. And shit, Marcel's on board. And sorry, I don't know you. Hey, babe. Hey, Johan. You got Connie, the liquor lady? At the bar, we're keeping it simple. Beer, shots, champagne, of course, and some really top draw whiskeys. This girl does simple better than anyone else in the business. Doing simple really fucking well is an art form. You'll see. So is this everyone? Are we going to work? Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. We all are. The warehouse is gonna be pretty sweet, too. The network they set up is like lightning. Um... Okay. I'll come down and check it out. One day. Any other conversation going on here? Giving us a different path around. I think it's really different. It's late at night. I don't know what I'm thinking about here. I'm just driving entirely too fast. Trying to end what is not an early interesting mission. But you know, it's realistic. Lift it up, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, come here, look at this. I love it, Masonette Los Santos. What do you think? I think it's 100. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing tracers. I am the opening DJ. Get the crowd bumping. Get the millennials boys with the wooka wooka wooka. Oh, go away. What? Go get me some celebrities for opening night. Put them up in the VIP lounge if you have to, but you will not be DJing. Ham, <laughs> <laughs> my glow stick. Oh. Now, let me show you what we got ready for you. Come downstairs. Now remember, I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity. But if you need my help, anytime, count on me. Now, this place is fully operational, huh? I don't do the tax returns, and I don't deal with whatever goes on down here. Now, I'm just a club manager, but if you happen to, say, fill it with some, uh, various products of your illicit businesses, I could probably help you sell them. Hmm? All, right, all right, now, everything else on the computer over there, and in the office. Shall we head upstairs? Here's our private office. The computer where you'll run things, and my desk is over here. Hear no evil, see no evil. Good, all right, let's go get a quick drinky at the bar. Brave. 
brave, mate. Think of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And brave. Ain't it amazing? Hello, Tone. Ah. Sniff. Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby, four shots. Good news. The big European is on the wing. Private, of course. Spared no expense, as you're paying. Well, it was a cheap plane, but whatever. Should we go and pick him up? And when you get back, we shall have ourselves a little party. Yeah. Here's to Masonette Los Santos. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you shortly. You all right, Laz? A little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's extremely funny. You know, it, he, Laszlo has to have a lot of, uh... A lot of confidence to be able to take his character in this direction. It's just, you know. English Dave's already in the car. This is just a driving mission. Solomon's coming to LSIA. Let's get out of there, alright? The good news is I'm already there. Okay, this is useful. This city, don't know what's about to happen to it. Solomon, our Slavic savior. There will be river, there will be groove, and above all else, there will be feels. No one does emotional like that Balkan beast. Believe! Bring the tears to check! No! <laughs> A two hour Solomon set's done more for me than ten trips to rehab. And I don't know how long on that couch talking to a head shrinker. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Let's get started. I think they're deliberately driving us around just hey, for a look, fact that we're what are you close. doing with that place? Mason at Los Santos. Proper naughty. About time, too. Los Santos needs some nightlife. I mean, as much as I love hitting the toot with lonely old rich guys in their hills, but it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? Not very spiritual. Somewhat lacking in the old transcendental power of a bunch of nutters giving it some. Sweating on the dance floor. Solomon's melodic madness coming through the system. No, sir. This, just what the doctor ordered. Is this really the shortest path to get here? Hey, hold on. Solly, I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's Mr. Runway? No, he can't be passed out. Not with all them uppers in his system. Get up there and do something. Push some buttons. Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just press one. It's what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. Uh, whoa. Sir, that's not making me very proud. Oh, OK, don't worry. I'm back. <sighs> Okay. Okay. I'm. I, I got it. I got Whatever it. Whatever you press before. All right. Okay. Cool. Don't press it. Okay. Proper bad juju, mate. We might be about to lose our DJ. Follow that private jet. So you can give it a. Uh... Downtown. Head downtown. Solomon, you're gonna need to get it together, old son. Where is the man I love? Cool as a cucumber. Or the rest of us are losing it. Getting proper rowdy. That's the Solomon on me right now. The miracle worker. The man who saved my bacon and my soul. Take control, Sol. You've got this, boy. Lovely. Lovely. You up there? Very nice. Now, you watch telly, don't you? Streaming, whatever. Then you've seen it done a million times. Grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing. I don't think we actually have to what? stay with the Shit! Name. You're right. Oh, thank God for that. Now, you know what not to do, okay? Point the stick again and keep the sky up there. The earth down here, eh? Where is it going? Over this way, okay. Let's... Check it, he's over Legion Square. Easy does it, all right. Easy does it, mellow vibes. Keep it proper mellow, mate. Fucking chill. Monday afternoon, on the beach, 
Recovery mode. Dreamscape. Pan pipes. Know what I mean? Now give the pilot a kick, all right? Still out? Bollocks. I They've left the city. Get on the freeway. Are there any instructions about uh, a manual? No? How about I find? Search it. I mean, on your phone. I know you're on the phone, but I thought... Don't get shirt with me, my son. I'm not the one about to crash a plane. I'm trying to help. So, so, be smart now. Where is he? This is fucking with my yoga. Shit in my pocket. The bugger's gonna try and land it. Follow him. <laughs> There is a theme with, with the nightclub, is that you're not perhaps getting the best help all the time. English Dave, Lanzo, not, you know. He's Tony. on the bottom by Ken, the psycho! Tony, yeah, I have to say, you know, Tony Prince comes off as extremely confident. I think, I think all the voice Shit. actors are meeting He's almost at Sandy Shores! The maniac's going for the airfield! Solly is playing a blinder here. Pick him up! Get on it, mate! Can't just leave him there! We'll take the yellow. Roger Moy, Dave, where did you find the pilot? Oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. Mm. Let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. Right, driver. Drive on. Let's get to the club. Show him his digs. So from one airport to another. And that's pretty much still complete that. I might want to do a couple upgrades that are also on the system. You alright, son? To be honest, Dave, that was pretty intense. That's it, big man. What doesn't kill you, right? I've never been in a plane crash, I grant you, but I've had some bad trips, me, and I always find a spiritual path. Next time you hire the pilot, see how you like being in a plane crash. He was excited to see you, so you may have overindulged this all. You have that effect on people. They get intimidated. Anyway, bygones and all that. Have a glass of wine, put some tunes on, hit a vape. It's legal after all. You'll be right as rain. <laughs> no, no, I'm cool, okay? Excited to play it as. Hey, you met this guy? Owns the Mason at Los Santos. I thought it was Tony. Ah, Tony's the looks, this one's the brains. Good to meet you. You must be pretty cool. Coolest cat in town. Genius brain, too. Just look at them there, thinking. Ah, you guys will get along swimmingly. Let's have some fun. It's going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. And yeah, me too, me old mucker. Me too.
In a way, you wankers are lucky, right? Didn't have dance music culture to begin with. Couldn't see it go to shit. London. The state of London, mate. Every decent venue stripped out, turned into a sushi joint. Can't eat a spider roll without staring at some exposed brickwork I chucked up on in the early 90s. <laughs> My bat suits. Oh, they were some good pills, but Christ alive, did they make me chuck it. Pretty long ride. But the quick car. Relatively. Better than the bus. That was a right G Fred move right there. I can This is the G Fred one. Should, should we make the jump with them? Is there any way we could not? Whatever! Alright, that thing. I mentioned G Fred. There's obviously going to be a jump. funny if I blow this car up in the process. Perfect! <laughs> it counts as a stunt jump completed. No one reacted. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that was a different way of doing it. And here we are. Me, Kassa, Sue, Kassa, Bear, Kassa. They don't know what they're in for. Come on. Let's do it. Yep. That triggered a little early, I think. Whoa. And we've got a club. I think Laszlo makes an ass of himself again. All right, follow me. Right this way. Okay, make way for talent. Celebrity a walking. <laughs> hey, mind how you go, Twinkle Toes. Just down here. Here we go. Very Watch good, out, mate. old Bean. <laughs> Solomon, hey. baby, come here. Oh. Yeah, sorry, my flight was delayed. He's a little shaky, but he's gonna be all right. I'm sorry, I never met you, but I'm a massive fan. Massive fan. Yeah, me too. Uh, Solomon, oh, Vigates, Actung. Yo, I've got some serious ED. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. Nah. No, no, no. EDM, EDM. I made a whole USB of tracks that I produced. <laughs> this is Laszlo. <laughs> High ten. <laughs> too slow. Uh, wait. Come on. Right, shall we? Uh, I'm a DJ too. I, I spend a lot of you know birthday parties for kids to make extra money. Um, because uh, I can't always pay my rent because I live in a mansion. I'm a baller. Uh, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm a. I'm a celebrity. People love me. Come on. I love big pretzels like you people. Ah, here it is. We've done it. The party. We got the fucking party. We are the fucking party. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And downstairs, fully operational, whatever you want it. Tony! Hey, baby. That's nice dress. <laughs> <laughs> the timeless class of latex. Let's go. <laughs> And of course, the music is turned off. Yes, 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 yes. Well, Jesus, tonight at the opening of Maisonette Los Santos. Yeah, Los Santos has finally figured out how to party again. You're going to join me, DJ Laszlo in welcoming my very best friend. 
I discovered him in Ibiza, which is in the Netherlands. The set was amazing. He is starting his first ever residency in the United States in this club. All right? Please, all of you, give it up for the one, the only, Solomon! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> let me know if you want me to MC. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, great. He wants me to beatbox. I'm gonna fucking get laid. I'm gonna be down here with the chicks. Fucking grind it, bro. Molly, bro. Molly! Okay. So he'd be kicking up the music at this point. There we go, we got the white Solomon tea. Definitely a rougher look to the place, but you know, it reminds me of some of the places I used to hang out back in the 90s, to be perfectly honest. What is up, homie? Some of them were actually a good bit rougher. Okay, so we run in here, popularity is maxed. Good time for popularity to be maxed. Okay. So we go in here, we've got... Okay, welcome to club management for the internet banking age. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Thank you, Data, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, easy to understand charts like you're an idiot or an investment banker for the club popularity means feet are coming through the door there's cash in the tills and everyone's happy for the warehouse your text will push your other businesses to generate illicit goods and they'll all get stockpiled in here your whole criminal empire under this one roof the techs do the work buying stealing or producing and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff offloading illegal product, and bringing in nice, legal, laundered cash. Okay. Now we need to go to warehouse. And this is the warehouse okay. page. You'll see any and all of the illegal businesses you own registered here. Assign a warehouse tech to the product you want to stockpile, and they'll use your established network to bring that in. At no additional cost or effort to you. You've got one tech at the moment, but you can hire additional people for additional products on this page, too. What's the discount on it? I don't know if there is a discount on it. And apparently, see, I thought the import-export business worked with the cargo and shipments. That must just be um, the hangar. Which means that we're pretty much not going to be making money on this. Except for the, the regular warehouse kind of stuff. We'll have to pick up something down the road. This is the upgrades page. Improve security or modernize some of the equipment downstairs. Whatever you need to increase productivity. Well, obviously this isn't as, you know, a big deal yet because we don't have any businesses. Security upgrade. That's less, that, that's more related to the warehouse stuff. But the staff upgrade, I think, yeah. Makes the bar nice. I really did think I'd have one business running on that. So that's a little bit disappointing. But... The main thing, let's go check out the parking. Oh, here's Paige. Hey, it's Paige again. I see you're in the dance club business. If you want to put the underground garage to some use, we could put a terabyte truck down there and turn it into a nerve center for taking scores. Buy it on Warstock, and I'll do the rest. This could be good for both of us. Yeah, we're not doing that. Even though the, the terabyte's on sale right now, that's another, we're talking more millions. If I'm going to do terabyte missions. This is big, proper massive. I can get us not just the hottest DJ, but the hottest pair of DJs on the planet. Tail of us. These boys are the kings of atmosphere, the masters of mood. They came along and basically took Deep House into the desert and put two in the back of its skull. Bang, bang, you're dead. Their sound is that blinking special. And you want them? Give me the word, and I'll book them right this second. Hmm. 
Not necessarily today. Where's the video part? Think. Is that right then? Progressive life changing sound ain't for everyone. Christ. If you ever come to Jesus moment, you can book the lads on your club computer. When Taylor Buzz play for you, you won't be the same again. Believe. How do you get into the group? Okay, okay, the club is up and running, music is playing, people are dancing, selfies are snapping, and dignity is at all time low. So far, so good. But right below us is a fucking ghost town. I thought you were going to fill that warehouse. If you don't have a business, start one. Weed, counterfeit cash, I don't care. But I don't like seeing good space going to waste. <laughs> Wouldn't have heard that if I'd actually had something going on. Oh, there it is. Let's do basement level. We well, could make this the main car, I guess. For the, for the time being, at least. Super has the right feel, I think. Sports classic in the house, yo. And that's about you know all we're going to try to accomplish for today. I don't know what business I'm going to set up. Probably a cheap one after I get some money back, because I don't have... I only have half a million dollars. We're going to need uh, the money-making capability of the, the CEO in pajamas, I think, to get this account straightened back out. Don't say anything. I don't know you. Or maybe I do. I... Yeah, yeah, I won't say anything, and neither will you. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing.